So today we're going to be going over 10 blind buy worthy fragrances chosen by you guys. If you guys missed this one or you're new to the channel, every now and then I'll put up a post on the community tab having you guys essentially vote for what fragrances should be in the next top 10 video. A lot of times you guys will choose the topic as well and you guys actually did choose this topic as well. It was a runner up to uh, a voting system that I did a while back where you could vote on a poll. Uh, this was the runner up so we're going to go ahead and do this one now. Essentially the comments with the most votes from the top down are selected to be featured into these videos and that's what we have here. All of these were chosen by you guys. I had nothing to do with the ranking of this or which fragrances did or did not end up in here. 10 blind by scents that you guys came up with. Let's get it. First up with nine votes, Halloween Man X. So this is a really nice one. Great cheapy. It's got coffee, whiskey, tonka bean, nice warm, sweet, semi-spicy scent. A really nice one for cool weather. And I do agree with this. It's a great blind buy. It's uh, one that is very obtainable for a lot of people given the price, the fact that it is most of the times readily available on discounters now. It does tend to go out of stock just because it you know, is a hot seller. A lot of people are into it. So I will do my best to link it down below at number 10 for you guys to pick up if you want to. It is one that I think everyone should consider adding into their collection at some point if you're looking to build up your cooler weather wardrobe. This one's really hard to go wrong with, especially if you have some love for sweeter fragrances, booziness, a little bit of a coffee note, some sweetness. If you're into that sort of thing, you're gonna be into this one. And at the price that it comes in at when it's in stock, it's really hard to not recommend. At number nine, with 10 votes, we have Versace Eros. So this comment uh, didn't specify, so they just said Eros, so I'm just throwing in the eau de toilette, but for the most part, uh, any of them would be blind by safe. EDP, Parfum, even Flame, and of course the eau de toilette. So yeah, I agree, the whole Eros line, very blind by friendly. There are a couple stipulations, like with most of this here, that you have to know kind of what you're getting yourself into. If you're okay with a very sweet scent, if you're okay with something that's playful and a little bit bubblegummy, then it's as safe as can be. If you don't like that and you are older and you only like aromatic fougeres, well, it's kind of written on the wall at that point. So with just a little bit of research, you can make a very smart, educated guess on whether or not you're gonna like this. And if you match the criteria that I just listed off, you're gonna love it. So again, this is what the viewers voted on here to make it into the number nine spot. I'll throw in my little word of advice here and say maybe go for the Eau de Parfum slash the new Parfum once that one hits discounters, just because you're gonna get better performance out of those than the Eau de Toilette. That's just my two cents, but again, Aero still, great blind buy. At number eight, we have Dior Homme Cologne. And I 100% agree with this one. I mean, this is the type of thing that you literally cannot dislike. Unless you have a hatred for citrus and musk, uh, then you might not like it, or you probably wouldn't like it because that's all this one is made up of. But if you don't have a hatred towards notes like that, and you just like something that smells pleasant and clean, you're gonna love this. You're gonna get along great with this one. The bottle really represents the scent very well. If you can tell, it's got this uh, frosted look, you know, like this cool frosted look because of the white on the sides, and it kind of gives the fragrance inside a slight blue tint, as you can see. Great presentation, and that's really describes it. That writes at home. It is a nice, refreshing, cooling, musky, citrusy fragrance. Smells a little bit like a sweetened pitcher of iced lemonade on a hot summer day. Yes, that is the go-to way to describe this one. You've probably heard it a million times if you've been in the community for a while, but it's really the best way to put it. The only problem with this one is the price to performance ratio. That's it. But when you're not talking about that, you're talking about blind buy, being able to you know pick this up and basically be guaranteed to enjoy how it smells, this is probably one of the best out there, one of the safest fragrances that you can pick up. So if you're otherwise a super picky person when it comes to cologne, uh, this right here will be something that you'll be able to get along with most likely. Number seven with 16 votes, we have Spice Bomb Extreme. This one's got tobacco, vanilla, black pepper, and is essentially a more grown up, more refined, more well put together version of the Eau de Toilette. You still have some of that spiciness going on here like you get in the Eau de Toilette, but instead of being straight up super spicy with pepper and cinnamon and that sort of thing, uh, it introduces heavier notes of vanilla in here, uh, making it a bit more smooth, a bit more refined. You still get that tobacco, which is present in the Eau de Toilette, but the way it mixes with the vanilla here, uh, this is a holidays, Christmas time, 
super pleasant, super warming, super inviting fragrance. Now this is another one where it does come with some stipulations here. If you don't like vanilla and tobacco, then it should be pretty obvious that you're not gonna like this, so don't blind buy it. But for people who are into this genre of scent, kind of a similar genre to Halloween Man X, they are completely different scents, but just getting over into the genre of sweeter scent with you know, a little bit of a focus on uh, tobacco, some booziness, that sort of thing. Uh, that's kind of where this would fit in as well a little bit. And so if you can like fragrances like that, you're gonna like this one. This is really well done, and in my opinion, one of the best vanilla tobacco designer fragrances out there on the market. Another drawback with this one is the price. Now, the performance is good, so it's not a price to performance ratio issue. With this one, it's a price to price issue. It's expensive, even on discounters you're still looking at $100 or more, which is a tough pill to swallow for a lot of people, which is totally understandable, especially when there are fragrances in this video for half the price. But at the end of the day, you kinda gotta pay to play, and if you want this, you gotta pay up for it. But if this helps you out at all, in my opinion, it's 100% worth the investment. This is one that you can wear a lot. You can get your money's worth out of in the cooler months. So it's something to think about. Very versatile, very wearable, great compliment getter, great blind buy. At number six, we have Azaro, The Most Wanted. So this one has 19 votes, and so it surprised me a little bit. I thought for sure Wanted by Night was gonna be voted uh, up pretty high, and that, that fragrance I think has been making like every single viewer-led video. If I'm not mistaken, you guys can let me know if you remember for sure, but I'm pretty sure it's made like every one. Like you guys love Wanted by Night. I love Wanted by Night. Everyone loves Wanted by Night. It's a great scent. And so I was you know, pretty pumped up to see the most Wanted getting some love because it's you know, a little bit of a change of pace, even though kind of from the same line. Now this one has toffee, I believe tonka bean, although I can't remember. I actually did not write down the notes for this video like I normally do, the notes for the fragrances. I'm trying to go off my head here with a lot of these. This one I haven't spent enough time with to remember the note breakdown other than I do remember the toffee and you do get a lot of that. There's a little bit of an orange, kind of a creamy orange up top, a nice chocolatey, caramelized, toffee type of smell, a good bit of sweetness in the base. Uh, it's quite a bit different actually than Wanted by Night. Uh, so it's not redundant to own both of them. And it's also not redundant to own the original Wanted either. This one stands on its own. This one is an Eau de Parfum Intense Concentration. It is a good performer and I find it to be a really, really good release. It comes in right behind Wanted by Night for me in terms of my favorites from the lineup. And I'll be straight up with you, I don't think Azaro can put out anything else that will top Wanted by Night for me. They got really close here with this one, so I applaud them, but I don't think anyone else is gonna top that other one. That being said, this is easily a very close second for me in terms of my favorites from the line. It's a really nice release, I think they did a great job. It's got that Azaro Wanted sweetness, it's very mass pleasing, and this is another one where if you like sweet fragrances, you're gonna be in for a treat and you're gonna love it. So yeah, I agree. Coming in at number five with 20 votes, we have Mont Blanc Explorer. So obviously you guys know what this one is all about, a Creed Aventus clone. You know, it's kind of a Mont Blanc getting back at Creed a little bit because of the whole original Santal and individual you know, saga where Mont Blanc released theirs first and Creed seemed to have copied them. So this is kind of Mont Blanc throwing some shade back their way. And you know what? They did great because this is like a top seller now. It's going crazy. Discounters, it's really kind of climbing the ranks on their most popular, best selling, whatever. It's all over YouTube, everything. People are loving this stuff. And it makes a lot of sense. To be fair, this is a great Aventus alternative coming in at like $50 or so. So good old Creed Aventus. Is that one a good blind buy? Yeah, I would say it is. If you have the disposable income to buy a bottle of Aventus, then I would say it's pretty hard to go wrong with because it does smell fantastic. A lot of the hate, believe it or not, that comes from Aventus is people who hate it because everyone else wears it and it's too popular and they're tired of hearing about it. I would say it's not as common for people to legitimately uh, despise how Aventus smells. Now there's gonna be people saying it down below that they absolutely hate it and you know, Nautica Voyage is better than Aventus, but it's not that common. So when it comes down to it, a lot of it's because people are tired of hearing about it and they don't wanna pay that price. Well, you can get something that smells similar without paying that price. I would say this is probably one of your best bets out there for getting Aventus on a budget. Really great scent with good quality for the price, good performance for the price, and it's a great blind buy. At number four with 22 votes, Versace 
Dylan Blue. So no surprise, the star of the show is going to be coming in here. And I'll tell you, uh, you know, you guys may be happy to hear this, but no Savage in this one. And maybe my memory is failing me, but I don't remember really anyone commenting Savage. They probably did, but it just didn't get the votes to where I you know, really saw it and focused on it. So it probably did get mentioned, but not nearly as much as I would have thought. Same with Blue to Chanel. Blue to Chanel did get mentioned. I did see that, but it just didn't get the votes and the ranking to be featured. So, you know, the community is really shifting towards Dylan Blue. And you know what? Guess what? When Dylan Blue first came out, no, people hated it. They despised this fragrance. People were hating on it, crapping on it, all of that stuff, because it was another blue fragrance. And now it seems, as the community is shifting towards this, and kind of going away from Sauvage and Blue de Chanel a little bit. So it's funny how the tables have changed here with this one. And I do understand the initial hate. People are getting frustrated at the blue fragrance or whatever. This did come out in 2016, and it hasn't stopped since then, so it's definitely not going away. But what I like about this is the price. 45 to 50 dollars for a 100 mil i think 70 for a 200 mil it's a really good deal you can't even get a 100 mil of sauvage for 70 dollars i mean there's a big price difference here so all things considered the smell the compliment factor the performance the price this here is another one of the safest out there in general out of everything for a blind buy 99% of guys are going to smell this and they're going to be so over the moon happy with it And as soon as they start pulling some compliments from this one, they're going to be addicted That's what happens a lot with stuff like this people get hooked on it because it's getting them compliments And then they fight to the death if anyone else tells them that they don't like Dylan Blue So, you know good on you guys. I'm glad you're enjoying this one. It is a great fragrance and a great blind buy so at number three, with 33 votes, this is pretty ironic, and no, I did not stage this, obviously, Versace Pour Homme, uh, yeah, Versace Pour Homme at number three. Couldn't be more deserving of it. This is another one. This is another one where, out of everything out there, one of the overall most safe fragrances for men ever. It is shocking to me how this DNA was created and how it still smells so just modern and new. Now, this came out in 2008, it's not that old. Chanel Allurum Sport, which this smells very similar to, came out in 2004, still not super old, but is older, and it still just smells just so great, so refreshing, so clean. Nothing about it smells dated or aged or anything. It's impressive. I mean, you could give this to anybody, any guy, and they're gonna think it smells good. You could give this to any girl, and they're going to think it smells good. Now, will this get some over-the-top compliments and reactions like uh, Dylan Blue? Probably not as likely. It will, but not with as much of a success rate as Dylan Blue. That's just kind of the trend. Same with Sauvage, same with Blue de Chanel even. So that's one thing to keep in mind. However, this one is going to be all around much more safe in every aspect so a fantastic fragrance that legitimately i think every single guy should own whether you have a collection or not whether you care about fragrances or not just please get one of these like get a bottle doesn't have to be 200 mil it can be 100 mil it can be 50 mil just get it you need this stuff it could not be more safe it could not be more easy to get into cologne than by buying versace porno enough said and if you couldn't tell, yeah, I 100% agree, guys. Good job of commenting this and voting it to the top because it deserves it. So at number two, with 34 votes, just barely beat the Versace Pour Homme I was just raving on about. Not Sauvage, but Carbon. So this is another one where Carbon is really getting a lot of love. Now, it's not new, uh, but it's another thing where people are, I don't know if they're getting maybe fed up with Sauvage or a lot of it's due to the overwhelming popularity and it being talked about all the time so people are getting away from it i know a lot of people still wear it for the record i love sauvage i'm not picking on sauvage in this video at all i really like how it smells um but it seems like you know people are moving towards some more affordable alternatives people are moving towards some things that are just changing it up and carbon is about half the price of sauvage and it's a little bit more smooth a little bit more well-rounded it's got the ambroxan the lavender the metallic notes uh, a little bit of a pepperiness up top. Uh, it's a, a big time compliment getter, obviously. You guys know all about it. Smooth, it's slightly syrupy, a little bit sweet. Uh, to me, I've said this before, but 
probably closer to Sauvage Eau de Parfum than Sauvage Eau de Toilette, given that it's a bit more smooth. So if you're someone who doesn't like Sauvage Eau de Toilette because it's so sharp and strong, uh, then you may like Carbon. It's another really nice alternative. Another one that's an absolutely great blind buy, especially at the price point, Sauvage, while it is very similar and you would still like that one most likely unless you're a fragrance snob, but if you're not a fragrance snob, you would probably really like Sauvage. The price tag is still tough to swallow, man, and I get that. This one here, coming in at about half the price, it's a better uh, better way to ease yourself into it in a blind buy scenario. So yeah, I like it. And number one with 42 votes, Prada Lome, the OG, the king, Prada Lome. I love it. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong, but that comment might have said Prada Lome slash Prada Lome Intense. I don't remember for sure. And I agree with both, I really do. I would say between the two, the original would be probably the safer blind buy just because Prada Lome Intense does introduce leather and tonka bean. And so it does sweeten it up a little bit. A lot of people are still really gonna like Prada Lome Intense and have also said this before, but Prada Lome Intense would be my favorite based off of scent alone. I think that one's a, a stunner and I do like the leather and the tonka bean sweetness, but from a soapy clean, you know, super safe, blind by standpoint, the original is basically unbeatable. It's got iris, it's got florals like neroli, uh, there's musk in here, some light woods in the base. It's it's uh, just clean, man. Super clean, super fresh, super likable, super enjoyable. If you want a signature scent to wear to work, to school, wear it every day, Prada Lome is one of the best out there especially in a blind buy scenario. If you want to smell well put together and a bit expensive, then you're gonna love it. Alrighty guys, that's gonna do it for me. That is 10 blind buy fragrances chosen by you guys. Again, the support on these uh, viewer led videos has been incredible. I'm so glad that you guys are liking them and I'm glad that you're enjoying kind of uh, being able to lead the channel a little bit here and you know do stuff like this because you guys are doing a great job at it you're putting together some some great lists that probably help out a lot of people so you know I appreciate you guys participating in these and I don't plan on stopping until you get tired of it so if you don't get tired of it we'll keep doing these uh, just comment below some other top 10 topics that you want to choose uh, it doesn't have to be 10 it can be top five or top seven as well um, not that it really matters to you that much because you'll just be commenting, you know, one fragrance. Uh, but yeah, what do you want to see next? We've done, I believe, signature scents. We've done the most recent one, date fragrances um, that you shouldn't wear and what to wear instead. That one was a really good video. And now this one, Blind Buys, uh, we did the first one, which was a fall fragrances chosen by you guys. So coming up for sure, we'll do a winter fragrances chosen by you. But until then, you know, what are some other topics you want to see? Uh, let me know down below and we can vote on the topic and then you guys will also have the opportunity to of course choose what goes into it so uh, make sure you leave a comment all of these fragrances will be linked down below for your convenience so you can grab these here i'll try to link to the best prices the prices always fluctuate so come back here in two weeks the prices could be different and higher than what i link to so i have no control over that but it does make it easier for you to find these uh become a channel member you know, I'm just throwing that out there. You don't have to, but you know, you could if you wanted to. Members are growing every day. You guys are awesome. Thank you for supporting the channel. We're having a lot of fun in the group chat. We're having a lot of fun watching these videos in advance. Awesome. And uh, yeah, you know, bonus vlogs. You can get a glimpse into my life, get some bonus top tens, all that stuff. So thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.